Welcome to John's Biology Online Lecture Room. The topic of this video lecture is Plants, Viruses, Genome Organization. Introduction One of the main features of the last century has been the great explosion of sequence data on plant virus genomes. The first viral genome to be sequenced was the DNA of CAMV by Frank et al. 1980, followed by the RNA of TMV Gillett et al. 1982. By 1990, the genome sequences from about 40 species from about 20 groups had been determined. In the year 2000, the genomes of about 250 species had been fully sequenced, including representatives of most plant virus genera. There are also numerous partial sequences, mainly of viral coat protein genes. The great expansion of sequences has enabled refinements to be made to the classification of plant viruses and the separation of apparently similar species into distinct genera. Good examples are the separations of the genera of the Kalimo variety and of the Luleo variety based on genome organization. The comparisons coupled with the use of infectious clones of viruses have given valuable information for use in mutagenesis experiments to elucidate the functions of various genes, products, and non-coding regions. General properties of plant viral genomes Basically, the viral genome comprises coding regions that express the proteins required for the viral infection cycle. Movement through the plant, interactions with the host, and movement between host and non-coding regions that control the expressions and replication of the genome. Control sequences can also be found in the coding regions. A. Information content. In theory, the same nucleotide sequence in a viral genome could code for up to 12 or more polypeptides. There could be an open reading frame, ORF, in which of the three reading frames of both the positive and negative sense strands giving six polypeptides. Usually an ORF is defined as a sequence commencing with an AUG initiation codon and capable of expressing a protein of 10 kilodalton or more. If each of these ORFs had a leaky termination signal, they could give rise to a second read through polypeptide. Frame shift to a downstream ORF also gives second polypeptide. However, in nature there must be severe evolutionary constraints on such multiple use of a nucleotide sequence because even a single base change could have consequences for several gene products. However, to overlapping genes in different reading frames do occasionally occur as do genes on both positive and negative sense strands. Read-through and frameshift proteins are quite common. The number of genes found in plant viruses are 1 for the satellite virus STNV to 12 for some clostiroviruses and rheoviruses. Most of the SS plus sense RNA genomes code for about 4 to 7 proteins. From here, SS means single strand. 
In addition to coding region of our proteins, genomic nucleic acids contain nucleotide sequences with recognition and control functions that are important for various replication. These control and recognition functions are mainly found in the 5' prime to 3' prime non-coding sequences of the single-stranded RNA viruses, but they may also occur internally even in coding sequences. B economy in the use of genomic nucleic acids viruses make very efficient use of the limited amount of genomic nucleic acids they possess eukaryote genomes may have a content of introns that is 10 to 30 minutes larger than that of the coding sequences like prokaryote cells most plant viruses lack introns with the exception of few Plant viruses share with viruses of other host kingdoms several other features that indicate very efficient use of the genomic nucleic acids. Number one, coding sequences are generally very closely packed with a rather small number of non-coding nucleotides between genes. Second, coding regions for two different genes may overlap in different reading frames. For example, in B and YVVR, one gene may be contained entirely within another in a different reading frame. For example, the OCSV genome. Third, read-through of a leaky termination codon may give rise to a second longer read-through polypeptide that is coterminal at the amino and with the shorter protein this is quite common among the virus groups with single-stranded positive sense rna genomes frame shift proteins in which the ribosomes avoids a stop codon by switch to another reading frame have a result that is similar to a leaky termination signal fourth a single gene product may have more than one function. For example, the code protein of AMV has a protective function in the virus particle, a function in insect transmission and a function in the initiation of infection by the viral RNAs. The code protein of MSV has a protective function is involved in the insect vector specificity cell-to-cell -cell transport of the virus, nuclear transport of the viral DNA and possibly in symptom expression and in control of replication. Fifth functional introns have been found in several uh, Gemini viruses in RTBV and in CAMV. Thus, mRNA splicing, a process that can increase the diversity of mRNA transcripts available and therefore the number of gene products, may be a feature common in viruses with a DNA genome. Sixth, functional viral genome may use a host coded protein in combination with a viral coded polypeptide, for example, the replicase of TMV. Seventh, Regularity functions in the nucleotide sequence may overlap with coding sequences. For example, the signals for subgenomic RNA synthesis in TMV. Eighth, in the 5' prime and 3' prime non-coding sequences of the single-stranded RNA viruses, a given sequence of nucleotides may be involved in more than one function. For example, in genomic RNA, the 5' prime terminal Non-coding sequences may provide a ribosome recognition site and at the same time contain the complementary sequence for a replicase recognition site in the 3' prime region of the negative strand. In members of the Potex virus genus, the origin of assembly is also at the 5' prime end of the genome. C. The functions of viral gene products. The noun functions of plant viral gene products may be classified as follows. Number 1. Structural protein. These are core proteins of the small viruses. The matrix core are nucleoproteins. 
proteins of the rio viruses tenue viruses and those viruses with a lipoprotein membrane and proteins found within such membranes second enzymes a proteases these are proteases coded for by those virus groups in which the whole genome or a segment of the genome is first transcribed into a single polyprotein b enzymes involved in nucleic acid synthesis it is now generally accepted that all plant viruses except some satellite sequences code for one or more proteins that have an enzymatic function in nucleic acid synthesis either genomic nucleic acids or mrnas are both the general term for these enzymes is polymerase there is some inconsistency in the literature in relation to the terms used for different polymerases i will use the various terms with the following meanings Polymerases that catalyze transcriptions of RNA from an RNA template have the general name RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. The enzyme complex that makes copies of an entire RNA genome and the subgenomic mRNAs is called as replicase. If an RDRP is found as a functional part of the virus particle, as in the Rhabdoviridae and Rheoviridae, it is often called as transcriptase. The enzyme coded by membranes of the Kalimoviridae, which copies a full length viral RNA into genomic DNA, is called an RNA dependent or DNA polymerase or reverse transcriptase. In the Gemini viridae, the viral gene product associated with the host DNA dependent DNA polymerase. A further terminological difficulty is that replicase enzymes often either have various functional domains or are made up of virus encoded subunits with different functions. For instance, RNA, RNA replication can involve methyl transferase and helicase activities as well as the actual polymerase itself. Third, virus movement and transmission. For many plant viruses, a specific virus coded protein has been identified as an essential requirement for cell to cell movement and for systematic movement within the host plant. Other gene products have been identified as essential for successful transmission by invertebrate vector and viral gene products may also be involved in the transmission by fungi. Fourth, non-enzymatic role in RNA synthesis. The 5' prime VPG protein found in some virus genera is thought to act as primer in RNA synthesis. Fifth, coat protein of AMV. The AMV coat protein and the corresponding protein in LR viruses has an essential role in the initiation of infection by the viral RNA, possibly by priming negative strand synthesis. Sixth, host cell recognizing proteins. Bacterial cells that can be infected by viruses usually exist in a liquid medium. Cells in an animal body usually have no cytoplasmic connections between them, thus viruses infecting bacterial or animal cells normally release virus from infected cell to infect further cells of an appropriate type. To identify markers on the surface of appropriate host cells, most viruses infecting bacteria and animals have recognition proteins on their surface. Such recognition proteins are lacking for most plant viruses, which is probably related to two properties of the host organism. A recognition protein would be of no use to a plant virus for recognizing the surface of a suitable host plant because the virus cannot penetrate the surface layers unaided. 
Furthermore, a plant virus, once it infects a host cell, say in a leaf, can move from cell to cell via plasmodes meta and vascular tissue throughout almost the entire plant. It therefore has no need for a specific recognition protein for the surface of cells inside the host organism. However, plant viruses that circulate in their insect vector have to cross various barriers such as the gut and salivary gland accessory cell walls. These barriers are crossed by receptor-mediated mechanism. Within plant cells, the situation may be quite different. There is increasing evidence for the involvement of membranes in virus replication and in cell-to-cell -cell movement. Thus, it is likely that there are receptor sites on intracellular membranes that are targeted by viral proteins. B. Non-coding regions First, 5' prime and 3' prime non-coding regions the 5' prime and 3' prime non-coding region control both translation and replication. These two regions interact in the initiation of translation of at least the 5' prime open reading frames. The 3' prime non-coding regions in the site of initiation of negative strand RNA synthesis and the 5' prime non-coding region, the 3' prime end of the negative strand RNA is the site of initiation of positive strand synthesis. Second, intergenic regions. Sequences in intergenic regions are also involved in both RNA synthesis and the translation of downstream ORFs. The initiation of synthesis of subgenomic RNAs is in these regions and these RNAs are the messengers for translation of non 5 prime ORFs in many viruses. There are an increasing number of interactions being recognized between terminal and internal sequence regions in the control of expression of the genomic information from positive strand RNAs. It is likely that similar interactions will be found that control the expression of negative strand and double stranded RNA genomes and the genomes of single-stranded and double-stranded DNA viruses. Thank you for watching.